Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode of FTB Departed. And it is night, and it is the Blood Moon, and uh, what that means is there's all sorts of really nasty stuff that spawns, among them hunter mobs. So, if you look in the very upper right hand corner, you can see the cross swords up there at level 6. That is my hunter level, I need to raise that to be able to kill certain sorts of mobs. Now these headless hunters, I can hurt them, and you can see, killing that one raised my hunter level all the way up to 7. So, what I want to do tonight, is I want to get as many of these guys as I can. Last episode, we... Well, I made a terrible mistake, and I went into the nether and got wrecked within seconds. Um, so that was a terrible plan. And I still have all of my stuff basically sitting in the nether. Now, when I went in there last time, I noticed some more hunter mobs, and I don't know that I can actually kill them or hurt them. So I want to get at least a little bit of work done tonight on... Man, these guys are brutal. I might... I might actually die here. I'll have to play it safe. Hit... Tap and, tap and run back. There we go. Okay. Let's eat some food. Love to find some more hunter mobs. But I haven't seen any more other than those ones that we killed earlier. Those, the, uh, the headless hunters. Oh, and we've got chargers. Lots of chargers. Oh, man, there's stuff all over the place. And my health is really low right now, which is not good at all. I think I need to hightail it back to town. That's what I'm thinking. Because right now, I am in a nasty spot. And I noticed that my... Wait, I still have step assist. Do I keep my baubles when I die? Because that would be amazing. Hold on, let's get inside and let's just check something. It's, it's literally about 10 minutes after I recorded the last episode. Oh, your baubles stay with you when you die. Oh, that makes life so much easier. Okay. So, maybe... Maybe we can come up with a different plan then. Now, also, I should probably mention these assassins... Apparently, there's a bug within Advent of Ascension that basically makes it so those assassins never despawn. So... You need to kill them yourself, basically, is what it comes down to. The good news is they have 250 health, so if you are using a Tinker's Sword to kill them, um, you will get all sorts of wonderful experience for doing so. Ow! What else is attacking me? Oh, this bee thing. Let's get rid of this guy, too. Ow! That really hurt. Got a bunch of apples over here. We should probably... Do a little bit of apple harvesting. Why not? It's the middle of the night. It's a great time to har to to harvest the apples. Let's... I don't even know. Might come in handy, though. It's a, probably a better food source overall than the carrots. And they will grow back. So let's just get a bunch of these because we might as well. Okay. That should be enough. I still would like to find a few more... Hunter mobs, but I haven't really seen much. Get out of- get out of my way, assassin. I'm trying to kill the skeleton. And we got a goblin, and I don't know what this is, but this thing needs to go. That actually raised my hunter level a little bit. So I'm thinking some of these mobs are mobs that only come out during the blood moon. And it is a blood moon tonight. I think it's those, like, reddish-looking ones. Oh, goblin. Oh, goblin, stop it! Stop it! What else is... shooting at me? Oh, that thing way over there. Okay. Well, we'll just leave that guy alone for the moment. Let's come gunning for this guy. Oh, oh, we might die. We're gonna die. Oh, no, we're not gonna die. We just barely got away. Just barely. Okay. Well, we've raised our hunter level up to eight. I say we... We eat some food, and uh, maybe call it a successful night. I'll see you guys in the morning. Alright guys, I am back, and we are in the nether, 
where it is plenty dangerous. I died right over there last time. And, uh... I think I'm gonna have to be pretty careful, but I've got a plan. It's kind of a cheaty plan, but it is a plan and it should work. So, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna, first of all, kind of dig down so I'm a little closer to that level. Ooh. Hmm. We should be all right. Ooh, hello, Glowstone. We'll get you later. So anyway, I died right over there. Wither, with what is this thing? Oh, oh, I'm gonna die again. I am so gonna die again. Um, yeah. So, cobblestone. Lots and lots of cobblestone. Catch my breath. Wow. This is not a nice place. This is not a nice place at all. Um, here's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna seal myself in here for a moment. And regen some health. Oh, okay, so waypoints. Let's turn that on. I turned it off so I could take a screenshot for the uh, thumbnail last time, but our death, we died like right over here. If we can make it over there, we might be okay, but I definitely need to regen some health first, and my armor is already almost gone. Now, you'll remember a minute ago, I was talking about a cheaty plan? Well, Oh, that's lava. That's lava. Oh, that was almost really, really bad. Let's maybe go this way. We're gonna try and... Really? I'm not seeing any way to avoid getting absolutely wrecked by a lot of this stuff. Let's just kind of pop out. Hello, zombie pigman. Are you mad? Please don't be mad. I, that's the last thing I need right now. You are in my way, though. There we go. Okay. All right. The question is, can we make it over there without getting killed? This is, this is the only question that I have. There's lots and lots and lots of nasty things. Put some torches down. I died right over there. Okay. I think I can make that jump. Yup. Can I get to my... Oh no, tell me my skeleton's still here. Tell me I didn't come all this way for nothing. Oh no! I think my skeleton may be... Disappeared. I. Th oh no. I think we may have lost absolutely everything, guys. Oh. Well, that's a setback to say the least. I don't know where else. I mean, I'll look around, but I don't know where else it would be other than that one little spot. I was so. Ah. Oh. That's really unfortunate. Well, I guess we might as well make the most of it while we're here. Let's get some quartz. Let's try and get some nether materials, some glowstone, stuff like that. And then we'll head back. Oh, man, that is a setback and a half. Bugger. Alright, guys, I'm going to do a little bit of mining in the nether, and I'll be back in a moment. All right, guys, I am back, and the good news is I'm ready to head out of the nether. The bad news is that guy's shooting at me, and I don't know if I can get past him, and there was some gassed. Can I hit it? Maybe not. That would have been an amazing shot. I mean, it's not going to break the cobblestone, so we'll be all right. But what we need to do is... Get! Oh, bugger. Well, there goes that. I'm dead. I'm very dead. Okay. <sighs> Alright, well, we're out of the nether. We are, uh, we are definitely out of the nether. Oh, man. 
All right, guys, give me one second, and I will be right back. All right, guys, I am back. Well, having lost pretty much all of our armor um, and weapons, we need to get some Tinker's Tools going. So let's take a look and see... Uh, let's see what we got for armor options. Mana Steel, Terra Steel, Elementium. That's all high-level Botania stuff that we can't get to at the moment. There's Advent of Ascension stuff, but I don't think we can really get any of that at the moment either, because that's all drops. What's this Primson? That's Thaumcraft stuff. Okay, if we could get our hands on some Thaumium ingots, that might actually help us out. Let's see... If we go into our library and go to the Thaumonomicon and go to Thaumaturgy, is it? No, Alchemy, I'm guessing. And we need scribing tools and a piece of paper. Let's see. Let's try that now. There we go. So we've got that research note. Let's take a look. Wow. Hmm. Hold on. That's better. Okay, let's try this out. And it's night again? Really? Uh, Alright, let me sleep, and let me uh, get that research done, and I'll be back in a sec. Alright guys, I am back, and I've got the research for... Magical metallurgy. So let's see here. What do we need to do this? We need metals. Okay, so if I throw an iron ingot in with some of this... Uh, so I need a crucible, basically. And then I can work on getting myself thaumium armor and things. And that would be really helpful. So let's see. How do I make a crucible? Oh, I just take my wand, and I enchant a cauldron. Okay, that's easy enough. My wand is right he. My wand is not right there. Where is my wand? I don't think it was with me. There it is. All right, so... Let's... Enchant that. And then we'll grab some water. Now, I do need uh, some, what is it, Nitor, I believe? Let's double check this. Yeah, I need Nitor. So, Glowstone Dust, Ignis Fire, and Light. Okay. And we're going to put that underneath this cauldron. So, actually, as I'm looking at this, this isn't going to work. We're going to need to kind of... Fix that up a little bit. Let's maybe grab some of these. And a couple of those. And we'll do... That. And that. There we go. And that way we can just mine this up and grab it. And I can put it out somewhere else. Oh, I don't have any... I don't have any netherrack on me though, do I? Oh, I can't believe I'm going into the nether again, but I need to grab just a little bit of nether rack so I have an infinite flame source just for a short little project. So let me grab some nether rack, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back, and I've got a little bit of nether rack. I do, however, need flint and steel again. So let's grab an iron ingot. Let's grab two gravel, because in this mod pack, you make flint that way. It, I don't think it actually drops on its own. And let's take this outside somewhere where it can go without catching everything. Ah, that. Let's not go outside yet. Let's grab a sword. Note to self, never go anywhere, anywhere without a sword in this pack. Man, that was almost a horrible, horrible idea. Where'd the tree go? I see the tree. Kill the tree. Oh, the tree hit me. The tree just took out half my health? Really? Really? Oh, I'm dead. Okay. Well, luckily for me, I died right outside my house. So I should be able to quickly get my stuff back. And that golem was pretty much... D oh, really? 
All right. Well, there's also a weird glitch in this mod pack where sometimes the skeletons don't work. And uh, you basically just need to log out and back in to fix it. So one second here, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys. I am back. And we've got the uh, stuff from before. Let's just put this down here. That should be far enough away where it's not going to burn anything. I think. I hope. And we'll put the... No. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Fine. We'll do this, we'll do this a little bit differently. I'll put a piece of nether rack right there. And then I will light you, and I will put the cauldron there like so. And now we should be good. So, we'll grab a bucket to fill this up with some water. And then let's take a look and see. So for Nitor, we need, oh, we need glowstone dust. And we don't have any of that either, do we? I'll double check the chests, but I'm almost positive that we do not have glowstone dust. Ah. Uh. All right, guys, back into the nether I go. One second. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back. And I think I have everything I need now to actually make... This stuff. Look at all these NPCs. See, I don't know. I think I don't know if any of these NPCs despawn. But anyway, to make Nitor the mystical flame, we need to throw in stuff that's equivalent to three Ignis, three Potentia, and three Lukes, and that will make one. And then we use the uh, Glowstone Dust as a catalyst. So what we're gonna throw in here? Oh, ow, that hurt. What we're gonna throw in here is. Uh, let's see, coal is worth two of each, so we'll throw in three of those, and then we'll throw in six torches. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one glowstone dust, and one more glowstone dust? No? No? All right, well... Ow! Quit it! Well, either way, let's just go ahead... Uh... I take it that that's not supposed to be there? Let's just cover that up and pretend, uh... You, you saw nothing. You saw nothing at all. I think I messed that up a little bit, but that's okay. Alright, so now... What we can do... Is we can put this Nitor down here, and it will power our cauldron without actually setting it on fire, which is definitely a good thing. I do need a bucket to fill it up with water. Should have one of those... Nope, that's not an empty bucket. There's an empty bucket. Let me go get some water here. Should have a water pool somewhere out here. And then... I think we'll be pretty much set to make Thaumium... What? Why are there mobs in my house? Oh. I think we'll be pretty much set to make Thaumium ingots, although I don't really have any idea how to make them. Let's take a look. Let's double check this one more time. So, for Precantadio. Okay. Um... I don't even know what's worth, what's actually worth Precantadio. Hmm. Hmm. Well, you get... I need something that's pretty much only made of that, though. That's the problem. Because you don't want to have overflow, entropy, order... Those all have a little bit of magic associated with them. Hmm, what else could we throw in there? Any of this stuff? No, none of that stuff. Books. A thumb and homicon. I don't think I'd want to throw that in there. Anything else? Hmm. I might have to make another, uh... Another thermometer, because my old one got destroyed. So I might have to make another one of those so that I can kind of look and, and figure out 
what we're going to do. So tell you what, guys, I think I'm going to make a thermometer between episodes and I'll figure out the recipe for the, uh, the thaumium ingots and figure out the best way to make those. And uh, we'll do that in the next episode and craft ourselves some thaumium armor and tools and all sorts of good stuff like that. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time. We could probably put more shelves in there. And then over here, we can have these shelves as well. So something like that. Or instead of these.